Hi, I'm Danny. I run the installation side of Sundog Solar Store. We're here at a customer's house that's getting a solar hot water system installed. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what a typical solar hot water installation looks like. Uh, we start by figuring out what the orientation of the house is and where the collector is going to be mounted. So why don't you follow me up on the roof and we'll have a look at how we do that. This tool is called the Solar Pathfinder. What it does is it shows the path of the sun throughout the day and throughout the year. and It allows us to see if there's going to be any shading that's going to occur at the site of the solar array. At this particular site, we've recommended to the customer that they cut this one tree that shades heavily in the wintertime. Um, with that minor modification, we've decided that this is a great site for a solar hot water install. This is a system that's good for two to three people. It's got two flat plate collectors um, and an 80 gallon storage tank. One of the things that we've done is we've mounted the collectors at a 55 degree angle uh, to complement the long winters that we have here in Maine. It allows for snow to shed easily as well as uh, the steeper angle uh, allows for more production when the sun is lower in the sky. The hot water collectors are only one small part of the full installation. Um, what we have here are the pipes that run from the collector down into the basement where the storage tank is. Um, why don't you follow me down there and I'll talk to you a little bit about what that looks like. So these are the pipes that come down from the roof. We brought them through a closet in the customer's home so that it's unobtrusive to them. Um, and they're tied into this pump station here. Um, the pump station is really the mechanical brains of the system. There's a circulator, flow meter, and an air scoop, as well as temperature gauges and a pressure gauge. Um, so we've got two heat exchangers on this 80 gallon storage tank. The bottom heat exchanger is for the solar side and the top heat exchanger happens to be for uh, the boiler. We've taken this boiler and made it a cold start boiler and uh, plumbed in a new zone from the, uh, heat, from the heating side of it into this top coil um, which now heats the top portion of this tank. By doing that it's made the boiler quite a bit more efficient uh, because this boiler uh, ran a lot in the summertime just to keep the water that was inside of it warm uh, even though there's no insulation on the boiler and so it's, it was relatively inefficient before this. Um, so we also have one more major component that's the controller which basically talks to the collector reading the temperature and talks to the tank reading the temperature and makes the circulator turn on um, as, we, as we program it to. Um, so I hope you've gained some information on a typical solar hot water install and I look forward to talking to you about what's good for you.